Hi everyone, welcome to J&D Gardens. If you're new to the channel, welcome and hit that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. We're back in the greenhouse for a follow-up to our heat cable video. We're in the middle of March, so Dan is in the process of installing the heater in here. We're getting ready to grow all of our spring and summer plants, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and especially our canna lilies. But up until now, we've kept the greenhouse as a cold frame over the winter, and the only heat source we had for our plants has been the heat cable we've installed a little over two months ago. And let me tell you, it has done another great job for us this year. We've enjoyed fresh lettuce, kale, and celery all winter long, and our garlic and carrots have been growing great during these cold months, thanks to that cable. So why don't I take you around the greenhouse to show you how well the heat cable did for us this year. Now here's a perfect example of why you want to try a heat cable. Now when we first planted our carrots in December, it was kind of a slow go at first because we had some pretty cold days. And even though carrots are cold hardy, they won't die, but they're just not going to grow too much. But when we added the cable back in January, they really started to take off. I mean, look at them. <laughs> now we have three different kinds of carrots here and they just, I mean, just look at these tops. They're so tall and they look great. I can't wait to pull them out. Now garlic is the same exact way. If your soil is too cold, it's not going to get all that warm energy to the bulbs and it'll be a slow roll. But I think it's safe to say that all of these garlics are really enjoying their warm bed. I mean, look at the size of these stalks. I think one of these are like 18 inches tall. And let me tell you, they're really hardy too. Now, when it comes to things like different varieties of lettuce, kale, cauliflower, and even spinach, now they grow pretty well no matter how cold it gets. But I will say that having them heated by the cable, they've been growing just as if it was like summer. We've been out here almost every day this winter cutting fresh lettuce and spinach for our salads, and it has been awesome. Now, we have so many different varieties. We have crisp head lettuce right over here. I mean, look at how tall that is and look at the leaves. Look how beautiful green that is. Love it. And it's delicious as well. Over there, we have broadleaf. Now it's a little lower, but it's a different kind of leaf, but still just as beautiful. Over here, we have spinach. We love spinach in this household, let me tell you. And the leaves are nice and spry. They're standing tall, absolutely gorgeous. Over here, we have a ton of these. This is butter crunch lettuce, and we use this all the time. Over there, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but we have kale, and we use that in our shakes. And you know what? All of this has really been a great money saver for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. And if you like to garden over the winter or if you want to get an early start on your spring plants, give this heat cable a try. And remember, you don't have to have it in a greenhouse. You could just have them in your planter beds outside. So if you have any questions on this method, just leave us a comment. We would absolutely love to hear from you. And please, Help support the channel by hitting that like button and sharing the video with a friend and ringing that bell. So remember, till next time, yes we canna. Uh.